Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. David. Yeah, today is the 15th of August 2021, and the time now is 6.17 a.m. Well, today our topic is an experiment thought, and it's about Nozick Experience Machine. All right. Um, uh, before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I think um, uh, let me to read out the content of uh, this knowledge experience, exper experience machine first. All right, so. A mad scientist invents a machine that would allow you to live in a personalized simulation, similar to a video game or the Matrix. The scientist can guarantee that you will be happy in this machine as it caters to your every whim and fantasy. And while you are in the machine, you won't even know it is a simulation. All that said, every person and thing you encounter within the machine is simply a program simulation and nothing and no one you encounter will be real. The catch is this, if you choose to live in the simulation, you can never go back to the real world. What would you do? Spend the rest of your life where you are happy in a fantasy world or choose to live your life in the real world? Why? Okay. Yeah, and uh, for this one, I remember that uh, quite long ago, uh, a few months ago, you also uh, kind of uh, asking me this question, right? Uh, in one of the conversation, did you, uh, did you still remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know whether you uh, you have come across this. Uh, uh, Nozick experience machine before already, and um, sure, but, is, yeah, I'm oh. sure it, it seems like I I have some memory, but uh, because this is so familiar, uh, I didn't come across this Nikko yeah Nikko uh, for experiment. Mm, yeah, right. Yeah, but it's uh, it's, it's kind of uh, the the same the the same. Uh, premises that you gave uh, in the previous conversation. Um, all right, so for this one, uh, um, uh, for me, I think uh, I have two, first I have two things to consider uh, to, to whether to choose to live in this simulated world. Firstly is, the, uh, if the real me, I mean, uh, I myself, live in a simulated world, and how about my family, my friends? Yeah, this is my first consideration. If this can be solved, uh, for example, if every of them also choose a simulated world, um, yeah, then this, maybe this wouldn't be a problem. Um, because uh, otherwise, if I choose to live in the simulated world, um, how about the real me? The real me must be uh, must also be me, and I wouldn't have, uh, um, I, I will not be able to um, uh, live with them anymore in the in the real world. Yeah, this is uh, something that I will uh, think twice, and if this couldn't solve, I think I wouldn't choose uh, to live in the simulation. And then second is, um, yeah, because we choose to live in the simulated world and uh, the scientists already have the ability to make us feel happy maybe all the time in the in the machine, at least not uh, not unhappy. And then um, how about uh, um, because it, it is 100% uh, pressure, pleasure uh, in the simulated world. So um, I just wonder whether we will, uh, this will increase our happiness level 
in the long run because uh, we don't have something to compare with. Um, for example, if you uh, if you feel the temperature is uh, very high and you are very hot, and then uh, suddenly maybe a decrease of five degree will give you a very good feeling, very comfortable. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, yeah, you, you can feel the difference. But how about if we uh, keep going to the, the, the same direction without a comparison, whether we still can feel uh, uh, happy? And then uh, how about our long term happiness level, whether it will uh, keep increasing or uh, uh, it, it wouldn't increase anymore? Yeah, this is a, a question here. Yep. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but the noisy machines, they state that it guarantee that you uh, you will be happy, right? Yeah. And this is a promise. Yeah. So if they can solve the problem, then um, for these two things that I mentioned, I think uh, um, I have no reason to refuse going to this machine. And uh, if it is some, uh, in, and also if it is free, then uh, I, I really think uh, there is no reason to refuse uh, going into this simulation uh, because. Uh, if we just compare, um, nothing will be uh, nothing will be different. And then the difference is that you live a extremely uh, good life, the life that you like you would like to live. Uh, that is something like ideal. And they will also include um, all of your family, your friends inside the simulation, so you don't have to worry. Uh, everything will be the same. You don't even uh, you won't even. Uh, realize it is fake or something yeah so i think um yeah this is my answer uh, if these two uh, things is not a question then uh, there is no reason for me to refuse and then uh yeah uh, uh, beside my own thinking i also try to search uh this term nozick experience machine uh on Google, and then I find something in Wikipedia, uh, which is quite interesting. And people try to argue from a point that uh, um, uh, 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 something called status quo bias, uh, which means the things happen in the reasons will take more weight. Yeah, this is also something uh, we, we talk about uh, in, in some topics previously. And then, uh, but for this topic, status status quo bias, um, uh, they give one other um, question. They throw one out, one one another question is like, uh, they try to ask people, and then uh, uh, this time they ask a different question. The question isn't uh, whether to choose to live in simulation world. Uh, the question is. If they are already in the world, um, they have no choice. Maybe uh, uh, they accidentally click the button, or they uh, they are forced to do so. Yeah. Um, anyway, just they are already in the machine. Will they choose to disconnect from the machine? Yeah, these are their question. And then uh, they actually uh, do a research, and then uh, they try to as two group of people. And then first group of people is uh, they are uh, multi-millionaire artists and live in one of the wealthiest countries. Yeah, and the other group, the second group is uh, people. Uh, they are prisoners yeah, and they are in a maximum security prison. So I think uh, the terms here may mean that maybe they need to be in the prison for a very long, long time, for many years, or even uh, they have the life sentence, maybe. Yeah, so they couldn't go out, or they can only go out after many years. Yeah, and uh, they found that from here, 54% uh, of the multimillionaire artists, they, uh, they want to disconnect from the machine. So it means that uh, still more than half of the people, 
uh, they wanted to live in the real world, uh, which is 54%. And then uh, on the other side, the prisoners, only 13% of, th of them wish to disconnect. So it means that uh, the rest of 70, oh, sorry, is 87% of them uh, wish to still stay in the machine. So um, from here, uh, the, the, the term bias is that um, because uh, we, we actually use our recent life experience to compare whether we want to uh, choose to live in the machine, uh, we actually compare whether now we have a, maybe we feel like we have a good future, uh, we are living well, and we don't even want to try. We, we, we didn't compare which one is better. So maybe we feel like, oh, uh, I can accept the life that I'm living, I enjoy it. So uh, it, I won't choose that even the machine can give, uh, can give me higher happiness level and uh, almost everything become better. So they, they still choose no. Uh, so but this can be something like a bias. So uh, some people argue from this point. Mm, uh, wait a minute. About the mental thought experiments, what is the point of this? Because if you ask a multimillionaire whether they want to enter the machines, yeah. Most of uh, you, you can say, uh, most of people were also not willing to, uh, enter accept, and if you ask a prisoner, most of them will accept. So yeah, uh, be between the original thought experiment and the amended thought experiment, what's the difference? Um. Okay. The the original one is wanted to, uh, wants us to choose whether we want. To go in and then after we go in we couldn't go outside and yeah. the other one is that uh, they want us to really think ourselves is inside the, the uh, is, is inside this uh, machine <laughs> and at that time uh, do you want to go out yeah and then uh, also they choose these two group of people is because um, actually okay. for for this person Nordic yeah uh, 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 okay, uh, for the second, which is the amended thought experiments, are you talking about all the things we achieve, all the things we get in, uh, in, in this world is simulations. So, uh, we can go out, but th there's a lot of uncertainty. We don't know what is outside of, uh, of our world. Are you talking about this? So, the multimillionaire choose to go out? Um, okay, let me, let me, uh, read it again, wait a minute. Or are you talking about the persons <clears throat> who accidentally enter the simulation and in this simulation is is something new to them and in the real world they are multimillionaire or they are prisoner so whether they choose to go out or not yeah this, um, there's a big difference here yeah i think uh in, in the re real world they are multimillionaire yeah, and, and then, uh, <laughs> um, I know, I know, no, uh, because, because a questioner asked multimillionaire, sure, this multimillionaire in reality, in real world, they are multimillionaire, I know. Mm. But the question, but, but the thought experiment is whether this world, whether the world we are having English conversation right now is a simulation. So suddenly we accidentally go into a simulation and we still have a memory that we are not in the simulation. There's a big difference here. Um, oh, okay. You mean whether the person realized they are in the simulation? <clears throat> Is it? 
Okay, ask you a question. If tomorrow morning you wake up and you you realize that you are in, uh, you are in a simulation, and and there's a an, and and there's an angel comes to you and say, "Oh, welcome! You come into my world." Yeah, and now you can choose to disconnect, or you could, uh, or you can choose to keep enjoying in my world. And I guarantee you will be, uh, you will be happy. Will you choose to say? Okay, this is the first scenario. And the second is, you suddenly realize that this is the world. This is the world in a simulation. Maybe you find out uh, uh, why suddenly you can, you can like uh, penetrate, can I penetrate the wall? Yeah, you don't need to open the door. You don't need to open the door and walk and, and walk out. You you uh, you don't need to open the door and you can directly walk out. Uh, 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 walk out from your room, and and you see a lot of clue that can prove this world is a simulation. Yeah, for example, you see the sky. Maybe maybe you see a face. Mm, you see a face and then. Uh, he or she look at you. Hmm. Yeah, so you know that it is in a simulation and then you talk to the person. Maybe you talk to the person uh, who, who who in the sky and and who look at you and then you say, yeah, whether it is a simulation and you say, yes, wow, you are the first person to realize this. I want to reward you. Whether you want to go, whether you want to come out the simulations or you still want to stay in this simulation. Do you know the difference here? Um, yes, yeah, there are difference. Yeah, the difference is in the second scenario, all the things you achieve, all the things you get is in the simulations. Just like the Super Mario, notice that uh, he's in the game, he's in, he's in a simulation. Yeah. Just like you are playing, you, you are playing uh, you, you are doing something, you are working, you are studying, and suddenly you realize you are the Super Mario. Mm. Mm. Or maybe or maybe you are doing something and suddenly you realize that you are clone. Yeah. So so this this is uh, this is what in the second scenario. So you uh something something wipe out wipe out all the experience that you have, uh, uh, that you have gone, sorry, uh, 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 that you have walked, that you have experienced uh, in your life. This is in the second scenario. And the first scenario is it didn't wipe out. Mm. All your experience, all your life experience uh, is the true ones, but you accidentally enter the simulations. And yeah. now, whether you choose, you want to go back to your to your life, yeah. So these two is is uh, there's a big difference. So uh, I'm not sure uh, what uh, uh, what you uh, what the amenda thought experiment you mentioned just now. I think it is the the first one, the first, first one. one? Um, yeah, the first uh, uh, scenario that you mentioned just now. They actually know that. Uh, they they have they still have the memory that they are in the real world yesterday but today uh that they're being told that uh uh today you enter the simulation world maybe accidentally and then uh they explain to you uh everything will be good and uh um they, they kind of prove uh you will have happy life every day starting from today and whether yeah. they they want uh, disconnect okay. from this machine, go back to the real world. Okay, I got it. Okay, but why is the difference uh, in the results? What is the difference in the result? For the original ones, you have to press the button to enter the machine. And second one, you have to press the button to, to go out from the machines. And why is the result for the multimillionaire and also the president? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, the, uh, the prisoner. I I think most of the prisoner will still choose to uh, would still choose to 
stay in the machine, no matter whether they need to push, uh, no matter whether she need to press the buttons. <clears throat> yeah. And for the multimillionaire, uh, most of them would choose to stay in the reality. Mm. Is it like this? Yeah. Um. Yeah, you're right. Uh, both of the uh, both of the options, one is already in and one is whether they want to go in. Um, yeah, I think also uh, that there's not much difference. Um, maybe it's because that the, the research that they take is like this and they haven't done any research uh, to ask the same question, whether they want to go in and ask the same group of people. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, maybe these are two, um, two group of people that are doing uh, experiments. So maybe they put it together to, uh, maybe they think this is uh, related or something. Yeah, okay. Because really, mm. not, not uh, much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the Amanda thought experiments. What they want to investigate is 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 nothing relevant. Is nothing relevant to these experiments. What they want to investigate is actually another another psychology bias which is uh, uh if some okay if if some people um, uh okay wait a minute if some people already help you to make a decision mm -hmm. and require you to uh to cancel, to cancel the decisions. This is the first case. And the second case is they want you to make decisions by your own. They won't help you to make decisions. So actually both, both of the scenario is the same. You have to make decisions. But the first one is you need to cancel in order to, to do nothing. So you need to do something in order to do nothing. But the second is you can do nothing if you want to do nothing. Mm. Let's say for example, for example, the vaccination. Now you have to make appointments. You have to make appointments to, to take vaccines. But now if the scenario change, you have to cancel. You have to submit a form to cancel so you can uh, you, you can uh, you can exempt us for vaccinations. Which one mm. do you think um, will con uh, uh, which uh, which count? Kind of, uh, which one case? Uh, do you think will have a higher vaccination rate? Of course, is the is the is is the one that you have to cancel. You have to submit a form cancel in order yeah. to exempt us from vaccinations. Yeah, uh, this is this is one of the psychology bias. This is a very famous one. Mm. The first uh, what <clears throat> a few <clears throat> there are few experiments. The first one is. Some of the hospital or maybe the organization send you a form. Uh, they help you. They help you take. They help you take the option, which is after you die, you will donate your uh your organs. Yeah, they already help you take the option. Hmm. And if you want, uh, uh, if you want, and then. Uh, you write your name and then send to us. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but another is. Okay, and, uh, okay, and this one is you need to submit. You need to submit in order to uh, in order to. Okay, uh, you uh, you want to submit the form if you want to donate your organs. And the second mm. is. <clears throat> you want to cancel. You need to cancel. In order. Uh, so you need to submit the form in order to cancel the donation of your organ. Yeah. And also another experiment is about the taxations. Mm. And and a lot of study done that uh, and a lot of study indicate that if you help the people to make decisions and want them to cancel the decision you have made, they are more likely uh, to do nothing and follow your decisions. Follow the decision you make for them. Mm. I think mm. uh, what they want to investigate, one, uh, what they want to figure out is a is is this kind of psychology bias. 
yeah, it's nothing relevant to the thought experiment. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I think um, yeah, we we, and, we don't put it together. Mm, and 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 one thing I can share about uh the amended thought experiments for the multimillionaire, more people will stay in the machines, and for the prisoner also more people stay in the machines. Yeah, only this uh the psychology bias makes sense. Yeah, and if the result difference, that means there must be something offset this psychology bias. And why is the thing? Then the scientists want to, the researchers want to, uh, want to investigate this. Yeah, if if both of if both of uh if both group of people, uh more uh there are more people choose to stay in the machine, then uh. Nothing need to continue. Yeah, they, they don't need to continue the experiment. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 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 So um um okay. So somehow I still can uh, pick the point out from uh from, from here uh, which is uh we kind of uh having status quo bias we uh we actually uh didn't really compare uh the real and the simulation well and uh we are we feel uh uh we feel okay uh, for the life right now in the real world and and I think this is also uh, um, something natural, yeah. And uh, sometimes we feel something is okay, and we uh, don't feel any intention to uh, to improve it, yeah. And then uh, for this uh, uh, for this topic, and I think also it's the same. If our life is, uh, we feel like it's okay, and then uh, maybe we won't choose to go into the machine and uh yeah also for this person the name nozick and uh, this guy uh came up with these uh thought experiments and actually he himself think that um uh there is something called the the, the real and then uh um uh so so he he tried to argue that uh the Happiness is not the only uh, only thing we are pursuing, and we are also pursue something called the, the real thing, uh, even though it may may not be as happy as in the simulation. Yeah. Mm. So, um, um, but I, to me, I think uh, if the machine can make everything just like the real thing, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, I I don't know how to. Um, relate these two together. Uh, okay. In my opinion, if the machine is so powerful, it can make you think. Yeah. Uh, uh, all, uh, all the conversation you have with the machine inventor just now is just a dream. And then, but you hmm. already in the simulation. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, we won't realize because, that. Because okay. Yeah, because the premises is it guarantee you to uh you will be happy. So if you if you ignore this, that means you didn't ans you didn't answer the thought experiment. You mm, didn't answer yeah. to the thought experiment. And if the, if there is no this sentence, the uh uh the answer will be changed. But if there is this sentence, and then you maybe the first thing you you need to do is. Ask the inventor to find the happiness. Yeah, this is the first thing. But mm. if you based on the definition of happiness you got, it's not pleasure. It's not pleasure. It's happy. It's happiness. Yeah. If you know about happiness and then you know this term, and if the if the if the terms that inventor tell you guarantee you will be happy. 
And then you know this is about your base happiness. Yeah, your base happiness level. Yeah. And this is not a pleasure, this is not a short term thing. Happy is a long term thing. Mm. And then if you if you didn't ignore the the sentence which it will guarantee you uh will feel happy. And then that means it can do anything to make you happy. When it can do anything that make you happy, why not that uh, uh, why not they do something make you think of oh, this thing is fake one and then but you already in a simulation and you won't have the responsibility burdens you don't need to worry about uh, your family your friends because you think yeah you're uh, you are still a real person mm. yeah and also if you say yeah people prefer real rather than happy so mm -hmm. that means real have some relation uh there's some relationship between real and happy if you don't feel it real you don't feel happy and the premises is it guarantee you will feel happy so you will make it real mm, yeah yeah so you so you won't have the thought you won't have the thought you are in the simulations mm. yeah but uh, at the point of choosing it at the point of making decision uh, we will still consider real and uh, unreal, right? Because we know we are going to go inside the machine and that's going to be something fake simulation. Before after we go inside. You, yeah, but after you go inside the machine, you won't feel it anymore. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but um, yeah, but yeah, but but just to think from the uh the, the moment that making decision, um, once you take into consideration the uh just the the real and the fake, the real and the simulation. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The if I want if I want to go through these thought experiments, what I will uh what I will <clears throat> uh the arrangements. I will do like this. The first is why choose reality of of fantastic uh and fantasy. So why why choose a reality or why choose the fan fantasy? Mm. So uh this is a question they will that I will go through uh, uh of, of the arrangements. And then the second arrangement is about uh okay uh, uh maybe Maybe some people prefer reality, <clears throat> some people prefer fantasy. Mm. And the second is when a person would choose reality, when a person would choose fantasy. Yeah. And just now what, what you what you mentioned, which is about the real, the real or not, the fake, the fake or real. And what uh what other people uh oh 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 what other people uh life will be affected if you go into the simulation <clears throat> yeah and it could be your family member it could be your friend it could be your student it can even be the government because government lose one's citizens so we will lose a tax a tax income Hello. Uh, yeah. 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 So, how many people you want to consider? Hmm. Hmm. And then, yeah, of course, you prefer you. Uh, maybe you say, yeah, you don't care government, you don't care the company, uh, like the, like the shopping mall near to you, the 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 super the supermarket. Uh, you don't care them lose one customer lose one taxpayer you don't care them you care about uh, maybe uh, how about your students if you go into a simulation how about your students they lose one teacher and you may say yeah, yeah uh, uh they can go find other other teacher there are many mm -hmm. other teachers how yeah. about your friends yeah how about your friends how about your best friends how about your partner mm. Mm -hmm. yeah so this is just about the importance Mm. 
Yeah. And how about your family member? <clears throat> Actually, uh, there are no difference with the taxpayer, uh, or with the government, with your students. There's no difference. This is just your opinion. This is just about the mental cost, right? Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, to to us this is like this, but uh, um, but to to the counterparties also these are their mental costs. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but what if now you are you are in a property, and if you go to the simulation, your family member will have a relief because they don't need to fit you. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So when you are doing this kind of decisions and you consider all these, this is this is a little bit dependent. Your decision depends on uh, on other people, and each. Uh, I'm I'm not sure what uh what other people uh will interpret these thought experiments. But if I look at if I look at the thought experiment, I look at the description, uh, I look at the link you share me, and it mentioned about the meaning of life, the purpose of the life. They didn't mention about like the family, like the responsibility, like the ethical. Mm. Mm. They didn't mention about the ethical. And mm. the last, the last thought experiment is about the vaccinations. Uh, uh, if you scroll out, this is about mm. the ethical. Yeah, and about this uh, 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 Nordic, Nordic thought experiments, this is not about ethical because they didn't mention ethical inside. Of course, you can, you can, uh, you can interpret, you can interpret the, uh, the thought experiment in this way, in the ethical way. You can do that. Yeah. No one say you, you couldn't. Yeah, but we need to know what is the purpose of these thought experiments. I think the purpose of these thought experiments is want us to to realize that what we want to pursue in reality and can it pursue in a fantasy? Yeah. This I think this is a this is a purpose of having the thought experiment. This is what the this is what the uh the the Nordic one uh trying trying to understand. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and if you follow this, if you follow this, uh, and then the first question definitely you ask why you want to choose reality or fantasy. Yeah, mm. why you want to choose reality? Or why you want to choose fantasy? And many people say, "Yeah, my life, my life is is suck, so I want to go into the fantasy." Mm, the reality is, mm, is something that I I don't feel happy, so I want to go into the simulation so I can feel happy. And some people, even their life is tough, they still say, "Yeah, I prefer real things." Mm, I prefer real things. But if you tell them you guarantee you will be happy and you tell all the definitions, all the things we mentioned just now, because we want to make, because it guarantees you to feel happy. So if you don't feel real, you don't feel happy. So uh, the, the premises start to make sense. So in order to make the premises make sense, that means you enter the simulation. If uh, if the fake of real will make you feel unhappy, then it will make it real. It will let you feel real, so you feel happy. Yeah. Yeah. And the next question is, when a person will choose reality, when a person will choose fantasy? Mm. And this one you have covered just now, which is you have the state, uh, state, uh, 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 status. The status bias, which is uh, if a person is rich, they they, uh, they prefer to stay in the reality. 
because in this reality is their fantasy. If a person is poor, they rather go into the simulation because this is not the uh, this is not the fantasy. The reality is not their fantasy. Mm. And one thing you uh, and one thing we we uh, we need to understand is is one better than another? Is the reality better than fantasy? If you don't realize it, if you couldn't realize it after you go into simulation. Just like, for example, a multimedia near. Yeah, maybe they prefer reality. But after they go into the simulation, they couldn't feel whether it's real or fake. Yeah. Mm, and you need to know in reality, you may face some risk. There's no God guarantee you will feel happy in future. Maybe next day you get a serious illness. Yeah. But if you but if you go into simulations, the machine guarantee you will feel happy. You get what it means? Mm. Yeah. One 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 thing is the reality. Uh you're doing good right now, but it doesn't mean that you, you're still going you're still doing good in future. Another fantasy is you doing uh you can you can know uh, you you're doing good right now and you can also know you're doing good in future. Mm. Mm, to make you happy. And you can go into further and you say, yeah, reality has some obstacle, and if we don't face obstacle, we get the thing very easily. We won't feel happy. Yeah, but the premises of this machine is it guarantee you will feel happy. So in the simulations, it will also give you some quote unquote fake obstacle, allow mm. you to overcome it so that you'll feel happy at the end. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But mm. the obstacle will not make you fail. Yeah, but yeah. the reality, in the reality, some, some obstacle will make you fail. Yeah. And after you feel you couldn't, uh, you couldn't recover. You couldn't bounce. Uh, you couldn't bounce. Uh, uh, a bounce back mm, to your success. Mm. But the fantastic, it can guarantee you will bounce back to the success. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, is one better than another? If some people say reality is better than fantasy, uh, they they didn't. Con it, this is because they didn't consider, they didn't consider the sentence which guarantee you will feel happy. Mm. And and if you could, and uh, and okay, and and you couldn't justify some things. How can uh yeah um I remember I share you a book which is the first book uh, uh the first. Uh, the book name is your first philosophy book. In chapter one or chapter two, it uh is is actually uh talk about one thing, which is uh how the world comes. Yeah. Mm. Mm, uh, uh, so uh, uh, where the uh where the world comes and how the world comes, why mm. you uh, uh why you exist, why you exist in the in, in the world. Who you are, mm. Mm. and also one of the uh, one of the philosophy question in that book is, uh, whether your thought is your thought. <clears throat> so it's something like, <clears throat> how can you uh, how can you know? Uh, sorry, uh. Uh, okay. Uh, I forget how to. Um, I I forget how to describe the the questions. The, uh, another question is how you know, how you know. Other people's thoughts. Is really their thoughts. For, for example, uh, may, maybe they say something and you say, yeah, I understand. I I already understand. But do you really understand what what they think in their in their mind? Even though they are honest, they tell something, but couldn't you misunderstood something? Yeah. Mm. And how and where the thoughts come from? 
Yeah, for example, uh, uh, for, for, for ourselves, where the thoughts come from? Mm. How, how, how do we know uh, what's the thoughts? Yeah, what's the thoughts? What's the origins of the thoughts? Mm. And some other question is about the, the soul, whether you have soul or not. Mm. So the, uh, these are the philosophy questions. And, <clears throat> and once... Uh, one related to this is about the real and simulation, and in the book, in in the book, it, it also have one uh one similar question is, um, yeah, which is the uh, where the world come from, and doesn't matter, yeah, if if you are if, uh, uh, because you can say yeah, the world is come from like the universe, or maybe the God, uh, the God created. Yeah, and and or maybe or maybe you are in your simulations. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the real life yeah. is just like a simulation, right? What? Um. Do you mean that uh maybe we are already living in a simulation and uh, we will never we will never know about that? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. That could also and, be possible. Yeah. And which is yeah, maybe you, you, you say yeah, you have memory about uh, uh, uh you have you have memory when you are still a kid and you say, Yeah, I, I see a lot of photo that my that my mother, that my father uh uh keep when when I still in my mother uh a stomach. Mm. Mm. Maybe you say, yeah, uh, I, I, I see the, uh, I saw a photo, I, I saw a photo, I, I saw a photo, which I was just born, but it's just a photo. It's just a photo. You didn't experience that. Yeah. Mm. And you say, yeah, I'm an experience when I was still a kid. I'm a, uh, I have experience that, uh, I study primary school. I study secondary school. I study college. But what if? You just born right now. It's all of this is just a simulation, and all of your memory is insert, is inserted by by some other people, by the god, by the inventor, by the sim, uh, by the simulator inventor. Yeah, how can you prove all of this thing is real things? How can you prove this is not in a simulation? Mm. Yep. It, yeah. And this is a philosophy question, which is you couldn't prove whether you are you, yeah, and you couldn't prove where you come from. Mm. You say you come from your mother's stomach, but it could be just your memory, and this memory is, is inserted by other people. You couldn't mm. prove. Mm. And uh, this one's related to this thought experiment, which is You say, yeah, you say you want real, but how can you prove this world is real one? Maybe, maybe the real world is a simulation. You prefer, yeah. you prefer simulation. Uh, you, you prefer these simulations rather than, uh, 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 rather than the simulation you know. So, so, uh, so, uh, 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 let me rephrase. You prefer this simulation, which is the reality. You prefer these simulations rather than the simulation created by the machine. Yeah. So because you, you couldn't prove whether this world is in a simulation, you, you, you can't even prove where you come from. You can't even prove uh, all the memory you get, all the thought you uh, you have come from uh, 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 where it come from. You couldn't, you could, you couldn't go to the origins. Mm. So, back to the question is, is one better than another? Yeah. Reality and reality and fantasy, reality and simulations. You say you prefer reality, but this, what if this reality is a simulation? This is just uh, the older version of simulation which mm -hmm. couldn't guarantee you feel happy, but 
an upgraded version of simulation can guarantee you feel happy. Mm. Yeah. So if you want to say is is one better than another, definitely is the is a simulation created by the machine better than the reality right now. Mm. Yeah. And of course, you you have a lot of thoughts about your friends, your family member, your students, the government, the world. Mm. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but what if this is a simulation? <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. And even in the reality, sometimes we. Uh, we just wish we were lucky. We just hope that we win the lottery. We just wish uh, the good things happen on Earth, right? So, uh, yeah. So, um, if if the reality is also kind of simulation, and yeah, why not we choose the machine and it guarantee uh, everything good will happen to us? Yeah, they, uh, this is also what we wish, right? Hmm. If there is, uh, if there is no clear, um, um, I, I mean, if there is, uh, uh, we, we, if we don't care about the, the, the real and the simulation, I mean, uh, uh, really, we believe that uh, our real life is just like a simulation. Then, um, yeah, actually, in our mind, we wish to, uh, we wish everything is better. We, we we all want the good things only. Mm. <clears throat> and back to the first question, which is why choose reality or fantasy? Yeah. And <clears throat> if you go if you go through all these questions, why choose reality and fantasy? And when the person would choose reality, when the person would choose fantasy, is one better than another. And at the end, if you if you ask yourself the same questions, you will have a difference. You have a uh, you have a different perspective to look at the same question, which is this is a the the implication is same as what you really want in your life. Yeah, maybe you prefer reality than fantasy. Or maybe you prefer fantasy than reality. But what, but what are the things you really, really want in your life? No matter you choose reality, no matter you choose fantasy, what is the thing you really want in your life? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, and then you can go. You, you can go back one or uh, one more round, which is you ask again. Your family member, your friends, your student, the government, whether they are important, whether it is something that you want in your life. Mm. Yeah. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah. So this this is this is something that you want in your life, and then what you're going to do. Yeah. And what is the purpose of your life? Uh, so uh, the first is what is the purpose of life? Yeah, it, this is this is a broad question. It's a macro question, which is you ask, you ask this world. <clears throat> yeah, what is the purpose of life? Why human? Uh, why human born? Why human die? Why the purpose of life? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and the next question is. What is the purpose of your life? Yeah. So this is your life. This is not other people's life. Yeah. Maybe you say the other people's life mm, is maybe it's about the recreations. Uh, is is about to to pass the genes to the next generations, but this is so meaningless. Hmm. And what is the purpose of their life? Yeah. <clears throat> they want to experience something. Experience the journey. Mm, they born, they will die. 
and uh, the time the time between the born and the die is the experience is a journey for them they come to this world and they experience something and then they and, and then they leave the world yeah <clears throat> and what's the purpose to come to this world what's the journey we need to uh we need to get hmm. yeah and this this is about the 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 broad one and how about for yourself what is the purpose of your life and this may this may include uh something that we mentioned just now which is maybe family is important to you friends is important to you the student is important to you yeah mm. Mm. so <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, and also one of the most important thing is about the happiness. Yeah, happiness is also important to you. So what you're going to do, what you're going to do for your family, for your friends, for your students, and also for your happiness, for yourself. Mm. And let's say, let's say you can choose join, uh, you, uh, you can choose go to the simulation. You also can choose not to go into the simulations. But what is the difference? If you go to the simulations, what they'll feel, what their life will be different, what you want, uh, uh, what you want to do to their life. Mm. Yeah. So, mm, mm, this I, I think this is a this is the this is the implication of these uh, thought experiments. Mm, the uh, the first one is uh, the first one is to investigate whether the reality or fantasy, uh, which one is important, and it could be indifference. It could be it could be one better than another. Uh, the the conclusions differ uh, differ from from people to people. And the second question is if you choose not to uh, go into the simulation, you you prefer reality. And then, uh, okay, if this if, if the reason you choose reality is because of somebody because of your family your friends then it's what you really want to do hmm. just a sim uh, just simply be together yeah hmm. so this is the if you want to ask into more detail, you can ask a question like this. Yeah, you, you say you prefer reality. Yeah. And then because you you worry about your family member, you worry about your friends. And so why you worry about them? Mm, this is a question to you. Um, yeah, I think this is for um, um, this is for their uh, happiness level. This is not for my own. Uh, it's it's for my own, um, but not fully on my own. Um, um, okay, it's something like this. Uh, if there is a situation, uh, which let's say uh, the, kidnap the the kidnappers, uh, uh, taken out of us, uh, I and my family out of us, and then uh, if he give me a choice, whether uh, if if they kill me, and then I can save uh, all of my other family members, or uh, they. Um, 
yeah, if this is the only option, uh, first is that I die and all the other members survive, and the other option is all of us die. So in, in this case, uh, if I choose I die, and then um, um, uh, I, I can help the family, but to me, I already died. I couldn't feel it, right? But I think I will still do it. Mm, uh, but you go to the simulation, doesn't mean they will die. Um, yeah, it's, I just want still to alive. Uh, mm. bring out the, the things that, uh, something which is not for ourselves, uh, it is for for other people, uh, especially for family members. Um, uh, I choose not to go in because um, uh, one side is for myself, my uh, my mental cost, and the other side is uh, is is for for them. It's not for it's not for me. Yeah. Uh, so so for them, what is the difference for them without you and with you? What is the difference? Um. Yeah. The, the, um. Okay. Uh. Um. I think if we ask question like, uh, if one of our family members wants to go inside the machine, and do you want him to leave you? Uh, yeah. You will want right? Yeah, so for them, uh, no, uh, I, uh, uh, for me, for me, I will say if, uh, if this is, if this is something that you want, you just go for it. Mm. Yeah, for me, it's like this. If, if you want to go into the fantasy, you want to go into a simulation, I will say yes. Yeah, even though after that, uh, we wouldn't have daily, we wouldn't have daily English conversation anymore. Because I know that I, I couldn't I couldn't restrict them. This is their freedoms. How how can you restrict other people's freedoms for your for your own benefits? Even though this is a family member, even though this is your best friend. Mm -hmm. They have their pursuing. Yeah. Why you want to restrict their freedoms? Yeah, I know. I know you'll feel sad. You'll feel unhappy. But it's temporary. Mm. It's temporary. Yeah. Mm. This is not uh, this this is not a life this is not a lifelong yeah because we know about our ha we know about the base happiness level mm -hmm. which you feel upset uh but it eventually will bounce back to the base happiness level yeah yeah even the death of one one person mm -hmm. uh we will also recover from that yeah and yeah and you can say like this. If a people die, you can recover from this, and the people already die. But if you know that he go into a simulation, he or she go into a simulation, and he or she will feel happy, hmm. then is it better than he or she die? Right, <laughs> it's better, right? Yeah. So yeah. can can uh, can the unhappiness level greater than your your love die? If they if they choose go to the simulations, definitely no. Mm. Mm. And if you want to say yeah, uh, I I still I still don't want they go to the simulation. And then I'll ask you another question, which is about the debt. Yeah, which is about debt. Mm. So that means, uh yeah, uh, uh we have one conversation this uh, which discuss about the debt. Mm. Which is why not you don't appreciate the existence. <gasps> yeah. Why? Why don't you? Ex uh, why? Why you don't appreciate their existence? You, you want to preventing the living. They already exist the world so many years. Hmm. Yep. Why don't shift your focus on the appreciation, rather than the the fear of losing it? Hmm. This is something that we also discuss. Uh, we also discussed in the past. Hmm. Yeah. So, beside of all these, yeah, beside of all these, what is the real thing that you really, really want to do in your life? What is the what is the purpose of your life? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, and also you can have another question, which is what shouldn't be the purpose of your life yeah what thing shouldn't what thing shouldn't be your purpose of your life I, I didn't say it cannot be it cannot be the purpose of life i say it shouldn't be mm. 
mm. one of the thing in my list is is about other people. Yeah. yeah, of course we care other people, but when we but when we make decisions for ourselves, this is uh is ourselves other people at, at the secondary, mm. and also I also respect other. Uh, I also respect other people's decision. When they want to make decision, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask them to include my, uh, my, my benefit, my interest, as their primary consideration. I won't. I, I won't do this. Yeah. Mm. So, um, the first thing in my list is about other people. Is is about other people, and it actually makes sense, and it actually uh consistent with the uh, uh with the self with the self esteem which is the dependent self esteem if you care about other people if you care about um, uh their their approval their feelings and their judgments and this is this is uh, uh this is about the dependent self esteem mm. and you did if yeah, of course they, they are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. Okay, and if your decisions is based is is if your decision is depend on other people. Yeah, I I think this is not the good thing. Just like just like your self esteem depend on other people. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and. The last question, the last question is what kind of life you have and then you will, you will no longer choose the fantasy, you will choose the reality. Yeah. What kind of life uh, if you have achieved, if you have got and then mm. you will no longer choose a fantasy. Okay, the, uh, this, this, is the, this is a question for those people who choose fantasy. Mm. Yeah, because just now we discussed a lot of questions and most of the question is for the people who choose reality. Yeah, of course we, we need to have the question for, for the person who choose fantasy. Mm, yeah. Because this is a thought experiment. Mm. Yeah, yeah so, but for this mm -hmm. question back, uh, our, our pursuing, right? What we pursue in our life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is, uh, this is what what is this called? Uh, the same soup, same soup, but uh, but, but different drug, something like that. Yeah. In, in Chinese, uh, in Chinese, uh, proverb, "Huan tang bu huan yao." Hmm. Uh, but this is another perspective to to look at the things. If yeah, because if I ask you what's the purpose of life, you could answer. If I ask you what kind of life you you have. And then you no longer choose fantastic. Maybe you can get some food. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, will you want to try to answer the question? Um. <laughs> yeah, I think um, it's a difficult question for me right now. Um, and actually, uh, I think there is one point. Uh, can be mentioned here is uh, uh, if people care about the reality and then uh, actually it is something like the belief uh, the, the belief of the, the real world mm. and uh, we, we don't think it is simulation we, we choose to believe it uh, yes. even though maybe uh, it is simulation so once you have this belief in your mind, uh, uh, yeah, you, you won't choose uh, at the moment that you make decision, you won't choose the, the, the simulated one. Yeah, uh, but, uh, but I think it's, it's not a good thing because this is a bias. Just like you don't buy a stock because the P ratio is high. You need to change your mind. So uh, for this kind of people, they have strong belief to to this world is reality. Yeah, I'll say okay. Yeah, uh, most likely you are you are right. Mm, but what if, but what if can you change your perspective? 
If we change the perfect uh, perspective, if this world is a is a simulation, mm. is this world is also the simulation, and you and yeah, uh, uh, I didn't criticize your belief. I didn't criticize your belief, but uh, uh, but you need to change the perspective to look at the same things in order to see the whole picture, or in order to mm. see the bigger picture. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So if if at the end, if all the all the discussions, and at the end, the people st still say, yeah. I still prefer reality because I believe this reality is real one, it's not a simulation. I'll say, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, you didn't get any, you, you didn't get any, uh, any things from this thought experiment. Mm. You didn't get anything from this thought experiment. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If uh. Yeah. Let's say uh. If we don't take into account uh whether this world is real, and I think it's a very difficult question for me uh to choose. Um. And I think uh mainly I would choose the simulated world because uh um I really can't find any uh reason not to go inside, and then uh also some question like. Uh, just like you say, what in the uh, real life I achieve, and uh, and I will choose to I will choose the reality instead of uh, fantasy. Um, yeah, and right now at the moment, I think uh, yeah, I I kind of couldn't answer. So uh, yeah, if if taking out the belief of the real world is real, and my answer is. Uh, the fantasy. Yeah, uh, just now you say you couldn't answer to what life you have, then you wouldn't go into the fantasy, right? Mm. And then, okay, another question is another mirror question is what kind of life you have, and you definitely will go into the fantasy. Um. Okay. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Let's say I have. Uh. uh I'm suffering. Ev uh. Almost every second. For example. Uh. Getting some illnesses. Or. Uh. Become. Uh. Disabled and. Uh. Maybe. Difficult to. Uh. Uh. To live and need to depend on others. Hmm. But what if I told yeah. you? Hmm. What if I told you you have you have you have um, significant probability that that you will suffer from serious illness in future. And mm. when you when you get a serious illness, you definitely need to depend on other people. Yeah, yeah suffering have, every second. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe not suffering every day. Hmm. May. Yeah. <clears throat> uh. Then we choose to go into the fantasy. Uh. Right now. Um, yeah. Uh. I maybe I still choose not because uh. That's that is in the future. Um. Uh. Maybe it is long long, a, a long future. Maybe thirty years after, fifty years at this. Uh. Fifty years after. So within these two uh these, uh years between the future and right now uh i still have something to, uh, i still have the time no uh if if you couldn't choose right now then you couldn't choose in future yeah yeah but um uh i think i, I mean i can accept uh if if i i get old maybe 60 or 70 and i i, I get uh, the illnesses and need to depend on others um yeah, that is something we, uh, we we don't want that I can accept if that is when I was old. Mm. Yeah, and I, uh, 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 the, and and the benefit is, uh, before I get illness, I have so many years to go. I can enjoy. Mm. 
uh, but you go into the fantastic, you still can have the enjoy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so, yeah, so mm. because the, the happiness level, if, if you assume that you go into a simulation, uh, you feel happy and hap in, in terms of the happiness level, in terms of the enjoyment, they are yeah. the same. Mm. So what makes a difference? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, because uh, initially I'm, my answer still be simulated well, right? So, uh, yeah, my answer didn't change. No, uh, as, no uh, the, the question I ask you is, what kind of world I would choose to go to the simulation, right? Uh, okay. okay. Um, the first question is like this, and the second, the second question is what kind of world? Uh, sorry, uh, what kind of life you have, and then you definitely would choose to go into the fantasy, and then you say you have a serious illness, and then you need to depend on other people. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And and then I after that I asked you if you know that in future you will get serious illness and then you need to depend on other people or maybe there's a risk yeah they just have a risk there yeah mm. and will you choose to go to the fantasy and you say no because you still can enjoy, <clears throat> you still can have the enjoyment, maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years, until the risk become reality. Mm. So, and then after that, I, I asked you whether they are same, and you say yes, and then, and then you, you, you tell me your conclusion, because you choose the fantastic right now, actually, so, uh, mm, yeah, there is something wrong here, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, the wrong here is that uh, when you ask me whether I want to choose the machine, uh, yeah, actually, um, yeah, I, uh, I think I should say yes because, um, if I choose mm. machine, I can get everything in the reality. No, I no, I think, uh, I think when you're answering whether choose simulation or reality. You kind of have the rational to to tell yourself, yeah, simulation is better than reality in all ways. So you should choose simulations. You should choose simulation. But if I but if I ask you just just like the question, it seems like not related to choosing simulation or choosing uh, the reality. Mm. And indirect questions to you, which is about the risk. Uh, you have a risk to uh, to get the illness in future, and will you choose go inside? And you say no because I have, uh, I still have time. I can enjoy my life, yeah, and I can yeah. accept that. So this, I think, this is the real answer of your subconscious, and you didn't yes, but, um, it. Yeah, um, but for this, uh, because I I choose no is because uh, I put it again the. My belief, I believe the world is is real. Um, if I take out this and to try to think, uh, and if I take out the belief, uh, my answer will be simulation. And in that case, um, yeah, maybe you, okay. ask, you you change a different way to ask me, and I um, uh, okay. naturally I put in the belief. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the uh, and the next question to you is. What real means to you? Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for this one, is nothing more than a, a a belief. Yeah, whether you believe there is, uh, this real, and that's just a belief. Could couldn't mm. I couldn't differentiate? Yeah, and uh, and and you also can say it's just a mental. Benefit or mental cause. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, do you have anything to add in? Um. 
Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's getting late for today. Yeah, so uh, maybe next time. Mm. Okay, yeah. so that's all for our today's conversation. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversation? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not native speakers. If you found any vocabulary mistake we made, please also comment to let us know because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like and subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.